Dr. Bill Adams here, and on behalf of the Aesthetic Society education team, we really appreciate all of you stepping up to, you know, start off and be pioneers in this virtual online meeting that we're having. I think it's going to be great, and what I want to do for you right here is just show you briefly how to record your presentation on PowerPoint. This is very easy. Uh, this actually is probably some functionality that you may have even not known existed but very simple so what I'm going to do is we're going to start out I'm just going to pull up a basic presentation that I have here this is from a previous talk I gave last year so you just open your presentation or create your presentation in PowerPoint and once you have that open what you're going to do is you're going to go to slideshow here and you're going to go to record slideshow. Uh, now you there's several options here but to start with let's just say record from the beginning. Now when that comes up you're gonna see a couple things on this recording because I'm recording my webcam to show you this um, we're not gonna see a picture of yourself in the bottom right but normally you will see yourself on a webcam which is exactly what you want you're going to go up to this record button um, and when you're ready you're going to hit record now one thing I will show you that is actually pretty cool is on top here notes if you have put notes into your presentation they'll show up at the top and that you can use those as a reference to remind you to, to cover the points you want to cover so that's just uh, one kind of cool little thing um, so let's just go up to record we're going to hit record it'll count down and then you just go right ahead and let's say so well I'm uh, really happy to talk to you about Sinmasty today and these are my disclosures so forth so Sinmasty or what people call medial malposition is a difficult problem and it's one of the most difficult things we face to correct as plastic surgeons Okay, I'm going to stop the presentation there so you can just say stop. So there's a couple cool things with this. Now, you can see how you can go back to different slides and what you're going to find is that each slide has whatever you recorded for that portion attached to that slide. So let's say you didn't like what you said for the disclosure. You can go up to the right up here and say clear. So clear recording for current slide so we can clear the recording and then we can go back up here and record it again for that slide so you can go through your entire presentation you may be a, be you know a pro and you just do it in one take which is great but if you want to go back and redo a certain slide that that's how you do it so I'm just going to re-record this so here and these are my disclosures for this and so on and so forth okay so let's stop there so we've recorded a new thing for that slide and then we can go back through the entire presentation um, edit anything when we're finished and we're ready to stop that what we're going to do is we're going to hit escape on our keyboard okay that's going to take us back out of this presentation normally what you'll see is you'd see your webcam down here um, and we can go through and, and play this but once you're ready, now what you're going to do is you're going to go up to File, and let's go to Export. Okay. So now you come down here, you have different choices. We're going to create a video. We want to record this. Uh, it defaults to Full HD, which is 1080p. You're going to click this, and you're going to do HD at 720p. Um, leave use recorded timings and narration selected that's uh, defaulted again um, the second spent on each slide that's basically if you don't record anything for that particular slide which basically if you're going through your presentation you're going to record something for every slide and I actually would recommend just going through the whole presentation and then you can check what you've done and you can redo it if you're not happy with it um, but you don't need to change that and then what you're going to say is create video and then it's going to ask you where you want to save that video and you can see it automatically defaults to MP4 which is exactly what we want and then we just say save 
um, and I've already stored a video on there so I'm going to say replace it yes and then it takes uh, you know it takes depending on the size of your presentation it, it may take anywhere from 20 seconds to five minutes to render that out um, you'll hear that and then it will save to wherever the location it, it is that you've chosen um, so that is a very brief synopsis of how to record a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, myself and, and Jamil Ahmad are going to be available to anybody that has any questions. Please let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we appreciate everybody really kind of going full throttle and getting this together and we we'll look forward to having a great online meeting on the 25th. So thanks again.